but non payment of that's right they are if you like fees mm. and then now the food suppliers and parents are also, are also crying quietly mm -hmm. because on a daily basis we are getting requests from schools to pay a b c d that's number two and uh, number three number four we are also having a situation where the calendar is not even regular anymore right the first years will go two weeks they will come home then we'll go and continue the, 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 the term and then the form twos will come home and then the form threes look it is it is it is quite haphazard in the way the planning and the execution of all the, i mean this whole free shs the front the, is basically a good idea mm -hmm. but we are suggesting to the president and the team that look you cannot give what you don't have the president is a lawyer this is a very basic principle in law you can't give what you don't have and so from, from the onset, we should have seen, and some of us saw, that when he was asked about financing or funding free SHS, he said when he comes home, he will tell the people of Ghana how he was going to do it. He was asked on an international exactly. platform. The evidence on the ground shows that there was no proper thinking into the, the financial plan for free SHS. The story goes on to say that the food suppliers are worried about the interest being accrued on the loans they took because of non-payment. The pressure on us at home is massive. Most of these people who go to contract loans from banks with huge interest uh, have the sole aim of supporting their business and engaging in this supply business. Buffer Stock had taken supplies from them for two years, and for those two years, they have not been paid. Again, that full story is on 3news.com. We'll take a listen to what the food suppliers have to say. If you are watching us on Facebook, um, you'll get to see the visuals as well. Let's take a listen. What is your intention this morning? Our intention is to pick it this morning. We want to be here till our money is paid. We want to drive home our demand for our money, which has been with uh, Buffer Stock for over two years now. Uh, we've done everything possible to get our money paid, but um, we've not been able to get results. But we intend uh, to pick it this morning. We want to be here, not only this morning. We'll be here tomorrow morning. We'll be here next tomorrow until our money is paid. Um, government has failed on its promises to give us, give us the money. When we intended to pick it the last time, there were some few interventions of which uh, we, 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 we complied. But um, nothing has come out up to now, and that's how we're picketing. And we want to be here so they get us our money, because we can't be home now. Our home is not convenient, because the people that we borrowed money to do business are on us. They want to take our properties. The bank wants to take our properties. So we want to be here, because we don't have comfort in our homes anymore. So how much are we talking about? We're talking about 270 million Ghana cities. And this money has spanned over two years. I look at the interest rate. Look at the cost of doing business. Everything is gone up. Everything in the country is gone up. Our money is still the same value as we supplied. This total devaluation of our working capital. And that's what we're demanding for this one. Uh, let's be realistic. You expect them to cough 270 million right now? It is not right now. It is over two years. I'm not asking them to pay now. I'm asking them to to, to commit right what they, 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 they committed themselves to under the contract. Mm -hmm. It's not a now money we are demanding. We are demanding money that they owe two years ago. So this is money that has been budgeted for. This is money that has been part and parcel of the free SHS uh, policy that the government channeled. out. So it's, it's a budgeted money. We want to know where the money is. We want to be given. Whatever it is, we know that there has been money, according to the Minister of Education, that he has released 90% of what they owe us, the, the buffer stock. We want to know where is that money? How was that money dispersed? Was there any equity in disbursement of that money? If there was, how are we getting the rest paid? That's why we're here. Sure. Sure. And you made me aware that some of your members are coming all the way outside of Accra? Yes, exactly so. And how, exactly how do they so. sleep and all that? You know, free SHS is span across the, the, whole, the entire region. It's in Borbrong and Hafo. So we have membership across all the regions who, that, who do the supply. And they are all, uh, they all have monies with the government. And so when we're demanding for money, we have to convey all of them from across the region. So as you can see them, some are coming from Bronga Hafu, some are coming from North, some are coming from all over in the regions. And they keep incurring costs in just trying to retrieve their business money. And this is not fair. This is not fair at all, <laughs> my brother. Um, this is not money that has been with government for a year. This is money that has been in with government for over two years. No plans is afoot to ensure payment is made. And that's why we are here this morning. <laughs> Yeah, yes, he can. Yeah, yes, he can.
And again, if you're watching us on Facebook, um, you'll see some of the food suppliers really setting up at the premises, mats, pillows, um, everything to make themselves comfortable for a night stay. They said they are not leaving because going back home is uh, a pressure point. Their creditors are after them. The placards are there. Um, talking about two years arrears, 270 million cities. The long list of institutions, persons, bodies, groups that government owes seems never ending. Let's open the phone lines. We want to hear from you. We want your thoughts. William, last bite on this one. They brought the mats there, everything no, no, for I mean, a comfortable I'm, I'm, stay. I'm, I'm just saying that the way the government has chosen to run the country, I find it very, very curious because... I mean, you can mention Ukraine, Russia, you can mention COVID. But that's, that's, those are the things that determine how resilient you are as a political leader. Because at the end of the day, before you came into office, you said Ghana had money, we had money. So it means you had, you had a vision. You knew what you were coming to do to make sure that the economy was stable. Now, there's no way you'll be in government and there wouldn't be external shocks. There's no way you'll be in government and there wouldn't be internal strife or internal shocks. Sure. Look. These are things that you look at even before you make any statement because it is part of life. So the way you plan the economy should be such that if these internal or external shocks hit you, you, don't, you fall and you rise up quickly. Mm. But in the situation where for, for three years you use A, B, C, D as reasons why we should suffer, I don't think it's, it's the way to go because, look, if this is what happens in governance, anybody at all can be a political leader. Mm. We just come and give excuses and run eight years and bounce. Because at the end of the day, if... Ukraine is hitting us. There's, there are some countries who are also... Uh, I mean, everywhere, the whole world is affected. That's right. But you make huge promises. Were you not thinking about external shocks? Mm -hmm. Were you not thinking about internal problems, natural disasters? That's Maybe right. Think about all these things. These things happen. So when you plan, you plan with all these things in mind so that your expenditure should be within budget. You, 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 you draw a budget that is sustainable. Because you don't go and promise... People that you give them jobs and you, you pay them when you don't have money. You go and promise free this, you don't have money. Look, as soon as you make that argument, they, then they shift to the importance of education. That's what we, what we are saying. Absolutely. And then Bloomberg sets it out perfectly. I was listening to two ladies uh, talking about emerging economies such as ours and our thirst for borrowing. Yeah. When times are good and you are not uh, aware of any yeah. external shocks, the tendency to borrow and enjoy yes, some yeah, of the exactly. next day. That's, and then as soon yes. as the shocks hit, then you think, you begin oh, to give excuses. Exactly the importance so. of education is not for discussion. It is a basic understanding. We all know it. So nobody should come and make the argument that uh, free education, uh, free SHS is good because education is key. And we know. But we're saying that in running that free project, do you have the resources? No, we don't. Because the, it is clear we've been exposed. And we, we shouldn't be putting pressure on the individual. Every plan that we have as a country must have the individual at the center. We can't have a plan where our 
pensioners will go and picket day in and day out and cry on the head of the president. The following day, nurses are picketing, crying over the head of the president. Food suppliers are crying. I mean, is that how we want to run the country? This is simple. Anybody at all can do it. We just throw out the policy. We don't, we, we pump, we take money from people to do things. We don't pay them. And then we just keep quiet and then we keep running. How long are we going to go? Look, power suppliers are crying. Food suppliers are crying. Are crying. Health officials are crying. So, so, nothing is happening. William Messiedu is crying. <laughs> we'll open up the phone lines very shortly <laughs> in the next few seconds. <laughs> It's now time for you to also have your bites on the issues that we have discussed this morning. And our phone lines are already blinking. Let me formally tell you the numbers that you can reach us on. 055 924 2717. That is 055 924 2717. You can also reach us on 055 69 10154. One more time, it is 055 69 10154. We want to hear from as many of you as as possible. I believe we still have uh, Pastor Odewale on the line. Hello, good morning. Hope you're well. Hello, good morning. I'm doing quite good, my sister. And thank you very much. In fact, you are among the very few descending radio stations that I've spoken about. The supply is flight. Thank Many you. have gone the other way, but that is life. And we'll always be with you. And we support you. And thank good you. morning to other cherished listeners. Mm -hmm. it's my sister, everything as one of your guests in the studio or crew was saying is at hot. Nothing is functioning. We pay for street light directly and indirectly. Where are the street lights? That's right. Every time we pay example. our yes. electricity, a percentage goes towards street lights. Precisely. Look at the portals menace. And I'm so happy that your TV station has uh, given out the visuals so that at least those mm. ladies' husbands have to be at peace that indeed they've gone for their money. And this is a plight. Six months, uh, okay, uh, of 60 days payment agreement. I've now gone beyond two years. And you keep eulogizing. You've stood this, you are finding it from the oil uh, money, generated money. So when you pick money to buy something, for instance, if your husband should give you money to go and buy, you keep on crediting, and it has become a debt. Will your husband be blamed or you? So the state or the government, the Kufado Bahamia government, must answer this. Fine, we supply food. Even those who are preparing the food, you are not paying them. Capitation, everything, no textbook, nothing. No furniture, even for basic students. And the whole deputy minister will come on and come of education will come and say that we should blame teachers. Now you have been exposed, deputy minister, you and your government. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Dewali, for your call. I also have Clifford on the other line. Clifford, good morning. Hope you're well. Yeah, good morning, Helen. I am fine. How about you? I'm doing great. You're on air. Well, yeah, good morning to, to, to your colleagues in the studio. Um, to me, Helen, I'm just going to comment about the assembly of um, Judge Quaison case. I think, North, uh, yes. um, the people of Assem North have spoken, and they are the constitution and the judge today. And I believe that those who are calling for the case to be dropped, so it's, it's, it's the call is in the right direction because, mm. you know, going ahead to prosecute this kind of um, the guy is, is nothing to get out. Because the point is that the person has been voted for. Now he's going to represent a lot of people in Assem North. And we have been practicing constitutional rule. To bring somebody to be elected, the people are saying that they want this kind of person. So why are you prosecuting him or jailing him? If you jail him, that means that you have denied the people their choice. But uh, Helen, let me come back to mm. a queer then issue. Sure. Because I disagree with the assertion by William in your studio saying that these things happen at the place that um, 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 poverty is high and ignorance. Mm. I believe very well that we shouldn't belittle the, the, the tradition because I believe no one will come and just catch my mother and be beating my mother saying that she's a witch or something like that if nothing has happened. And, you know, we have a lot of suicides up north that will confirm that. And then they practice this thing very long. But lynching somebody, me, I am not in support with that. But mm. you see, poverty and ignorance that push people to do these kind of things, I disagree with that. Good morning. Mm. 
Well, good morning to you, Clifford. And uh, William is here. We can certainly revisit that um, when we progress. But uh, of course, I mean, of course, we can agree to disagree yeah, yeah, and have course. different I mean, viewpoints. Point to the rich areas where the rich is, we can we'll go there and talk about that. Ali is also <laughs> on the line. Ali, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Good morning, Helen. I'm doing very good. And how, is, how is he? How are you too? Ah, we are managing. Small, 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 small. You're on air. Uh, yeah. Um. First and foremost. You know, kudos to TFM and the good work that you are doing for this country. Thank you. Yesterday, I was listening, and I think ADG was giving you people, you know, a lot of accolades and then trying to say the kind of good work that you are doing. My prayer is that I'm just hoping, hopefully, and if God permits and they come to power, the same, you know, good wishes and, and good talk that he's been talking about KFM should continue <laughs> when the table turns. We, we certainly um, hope so. Yeah. And then also, with concern to the food uh, for the students and the people supplying mm. and everything, I don't know what is wrong with this government, but at this point, we all know what the kind of government that we have and the kind of slogans that they've thrown to us and we jumped on it and today, look at where we are. I always have the concern that why do we Ghanaians allow politicians to do politics with some essential aspects of our life, like education, for instance? Why do we allow them to do politics with it? Because they bring it and we accept it. If we don't accept it, they wouldn't bring it again. But it seems we also play with the gallery when they come and then we we'll give you free this, free that, free. I quite remember when this president was talking about free education. The question of where is he going to get the money to fund this, you know, obnoxious promise was being asked even in the international front. How many of our local stations took this as an, you know, as an assignment to ask him for him to tell us where he's going to get the money for this? Today we are here. Education is just in the gutters. You know, you go to schools, you see how things are going, and you just ask yourself, what is this? Ghana, our education used to be exported. Mm. Nigerians come here for education. I don't know how it is now. Mm. Ali, wrap up for me, please. And then, um, please, Ellen, I just want to make this inquiry, please. Sure. Um, um, uh, parks and gardens, I just want to know what is the work in this country? Because um, when you are driving, let's say, from um, Medina, mm. passing over Legon, you see the, this pavement block that has been constructed with a lot of grass and stuff like that. I was thinking parks and gardens, they are supposed to take care of stuff like this. But what is happening? Well, uh, look into that, Ali. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Thank Something we can much. certainly thank you, thank you. examine. Kosami is also on the line. Kosami, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, the, the, the first lady on radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are reviewing the men, and but uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are been, you are doing well within them, I think. Thank you, you. Always, you, always, you always take them on. <laughs> <laughs> it's very necessary because I'm your yeah. uh, I think uh, we need to educate our children. Our children need education in this mm. country. Uh, Harry, uh, 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 Ellen, I, I can tell you, me, I mm. voted, I voted for this tradition. Right. Based on the lies that they told us. That's why I voted. I've, 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 I've regretted forever voting for such a tradition based on the lies they told Ghanaians those days. When the when Kwame Nkrumah were putting up factories for, for, I mean, for this nation to move forward, they were telling that different story. When Kwame Nkrumah was sending Ghanaians to Russia and other countries to go and, and, and then and, and get some uh, expertise and come back to help this nation. They were telling that different, different story that Kwame Nkrumah said mm. uh, to go and sell them out. And our, our, family, our, our fathers and mothers were very, uh, 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 I mean, upset because they don't understand. You remember this uh, Kankanya meeting? Mm. All were part of the story, the lies, the factories. That's where I come from. Look, there was a factory that had been put up. We were told that we, they were going to store food and, and, and clothes so that when you wear one and it's on and you, you come for another one. When you come for, and your father come for food and he's finished, then you come another, and you finish, then you come for, for another food. That's why we are going to, we are going to be treated by Kwame Nkrumah. 
But meanwhile, during those days, I benefited from free education. Textbooks mm. were given textbooks, full textbooks. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know whether you you, you can't submit that pen, fountain pen. Fountain pen. pen. I'm aware yeah, of the fountain pen, pen. with, with uh, 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 ink in bottle. And it will just well, as the kids say to be floating. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, yeah, <laughs> we were given <laughs> all the things free, and with with Santa. So today we are passionate to bring back those things. We cannot. And based on mm. what? Based on this tradition that told us lies. And it's the same lie they told Ghanaians and came to pass today and we're messing up. We have only everybody. I end up with this, mm. uh, which comes to Sure. I think it, 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 it's time we deal with this thing. But uh, my brother said, in the North, they have an association. Which is association? They're an association. We call them Jim Warba. And they have an association. If you belong to that association, well, of course, I mean, I can uh, uh, verify or substantiate uh, yeah, that there is a, yeah, a, such they, a they, thing. They, they call them Jim Warba. They have their, they, 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 they have their this thing that they, 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 used to, uh, they, 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 this thing that they do. They dance, they perform their function in the night. This is alleged they, by you, they, they Kosami. Up, they put from bonfire, you will be dancing one, and, uh, one after each other, entering the fire and coming out. And if you belong to that association, you don't have to use your witch, your, your witchcraft to do bad. When you do bad, they will punish you. As for that association, you don't block the association right. and do bad okay. with your witch, with your, right. with your, with your witches. Of course, Ami, thank you so much for this one and thank you for uh, your call. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I can't substantiate any uh, witches uh, I mean, uh, commune if, or if, if the, the, uh, association <laughs> that has been formed. I have Opia on the telephone line. Opia, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Yo, good morning, Ellen. Good morning to you, Opia. Yes, um, um, I appreciate that the Deputy Minister has actually apologized to the teachers. Mm. Um, that was quite an unfortunate statement she made. If she had known the phenomenon and also the marking schemes that uh, most uh, uh, countries do use, you know, to uh, mark, um, you know, uh, people who see all their students who sit for exams. You're talking about Africa. And you want mm. somebody who go to sit or write exam, have eaten gary in the morning to sit in the class to write an exam compared to an European who probably in the morning he or she has a some sausage and some omelette going to sit or write an exam that has possible answers. Mm. These are the two things that people should consider when they are talking of education. Because it seems that uh, even Wayek has to also, I have also always been complaining the Wayek marking schemes. Mm. They're still using these colonial sort of marking schemes because the, born at those days when uh, colonial probably will set an exam, he doesn't want an African, you know, to pass, to also to become, you know, some sort of a personality. These are things we should be thinking of. You know, do you, you force, for, for Africans to use their brain like it's, it's a, a manual gear instead of automatic gear. You see, mm. uh, it's unfortunate that she made that statement. I know probably she has not um, gone that far to understand this, to understand this sort of uh, education, education standard. Also, I want to advise the judiciary, the justice, mm. that they should consider. You see, what happened as, as you know, with this prosecution, whatever, to Mr. Pace, it's not called for. Are they, are they waiting for it to have a crash in the country? There should be some, and they are happy, chaos. Hey, look at them. They are fighting. Hey, hey. They'll be sorry when this happens, because look at the international front, particularly you, and look at what is going on in Ukraine and Russia. Do, do they think they have time to come to Ghana and come and stop if there's some uh, chaos in this country? Mm. Please, let's grow up. Let's grow up, please. Alan, please have a good morning. And good morning to William. Okay. Thank uh, you. William has said good morning as well. Pierre said good morning to you. He says we need to grow up. We must <laughs> grow we up. Are running the economy, yeah. He says we are behaving <laughs> like infants and we huh? must grow up. The phone lines are still open. Uh, we'll have a few more calls slide through. Let's make our submissions short, sweet, and snappy so we can hear from as many of you as possible. 055-924-924. 2717. Also reach us on 055 
by four. We've discussed a number of issues this morning. We would love to get your perspective and your thoughts on said issues. Again, join us. 055-6910-154. We are all involved. Let me know this one. We are all we must remind we ourselves this morning since 1982. <laughs> that uh, it is one nation, one goal. We have Rashid on the line. Rashid, hello, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Good morning, Madam Helen. Good morning, Rashid. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, Helen. All right, you're on air. Greetings to your panelists at the, uh, at the station. Sure. They've heard you. Um, I'll say one thing. i say, God bless your mother for giving birth to you. Thank you so much. In fact, you know what? Today is my mother's birthday. Thank you for reminding me. So God bless uh, Ikea Mansa. Happy birthday to you. And thank you for that uh, compliment. I'll, I'll let her know. You are speaking for the vulnerable in the society. We, talk, we mm. like that. We are doing well for some of us. Those who cannot speak outside for, the, for, the, for them to hear us. The reason is that you see this government, they deliberately come to land this country down. Mm. Because you employ somebody to cook food for children in the school and you refuse to pay the person. And you went and spent money at, at seen enough. That money they were spending, they couldn't they use that money to pay the school fees in Petres. And you expect them to sit down and keep quiet. I don't know why some people have just decided to be wicked to tell us others. It is not fair. Let's be sure to accept. And then there's a proverb that says in our tribe that Mm. When your colleague man beard is on fire, you fetch water and put by your side. What the NDC MPs are doing in Parliament, they are saving themselves because the adequation here is on fire today, so they have to fetch water and put by their side. Mm. That's what I have this morning for you. All right. But Thank get, you so uh, much. Uh, I should do for me and then uh, uh, join it. Sure thing. They'll hear these greetings for sure. We can still take a few more calls if you too would like to weigh in on any of the issues that we have discussed this morning. 055-924-2717. Also reach us on 055-6910-154. It is my mother's birthday this morning. Again, happy birthday to you. Um, Mami. Ekia Mansa, the one, the only, the greatest. Us, brophlatic, <laughs> Helen. We also have another call from uh, Adenta. Q from Adenta is on the line. Hello, good morning. Hope you're well. Yeah, yeah, like this. Like this. Sure, uh, let's hear you. See, this country we, we are now, we don't want to use, always I used to tell people, we don't want to use the country laws work. If country laws no work, they can't like ruffians in the country. You know, like that. See, this country is a holy country. See what is happening, voting, they made this thing, the MPP, the, the president said when they go back, they, they are in the power. Huh? They are in power where they have to prove action to the people may they support them. But they are making campaign again for the people, for the people who hear. You see, NDC and NPD still don't make campaign again in this country. Action where we will see for them. Then we told them, the NPD they have to not ban them in this country. Eh? If Ghanaians don't rise up and ban NPP, then Ghanaians don't, like, don't know them down for it. Why am I saying? Because they don't want to make you go home. You see what I'm saying? That if they come power there, you may that Ghana is going backwards. You see? That is going on, right? You know? So, you just wake up and tell them. If you don't tell them, you see, if you read the Bible, the Bible is telling you who are witchcraft and who are righteous, who are devil. So, if you are reading the Bible, you don't know the devil. Then you don't see what You don't know the Bible too. That is not. Yeah, because now, it's not your mother, it's not your, your, your grandmother. Is not, no. And you are reading the Bible, you read the Bible, you see. A devil, a wicked man in the Bible, you know? Go on about this, a wicked man in the Bible. Huh? Go on about this, a wicked man. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Q from Adens. Although, is that Precious or Dave? In any case, few more calls can definitely come through this morning. We'd like to hear from as many of you as possible on all of the issues discussed this morning. 055-924-2717. Call us also on 055-6910-154. We'll slide through a few more calls before we park it for the voice of the people. We've got a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Okay, we've lost that caller. Uh, you can still attempt 
to get through to us. 055-69-10154. Let's hear from you. We're still very heavy on the socials, on Twitter in particular, at 3FM927. All one word. Join in on the conversation. The hashtag is 3FM Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. All right, we have Ellis uh, from Accra Online One. Ellis, hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the program. How are you doing? Morning. This is your, your voice. Is... Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good morning. Hello, Ellis. Are you able to hear me? Good morning. Welcome to the program. You're on air. Yeah, cool. Uh, actually, what is what happened at uh, this just recently election? That should tell MCT that that is what is going to happen next year. And also, it's like, I don't understand what is going on in this country. It's like, what is, what is happening to the money the, the government went for? Are they going to, I can see that they want to use it for campaign. That is why they said the money, because it's like they are owing everybody. And the mm. way we are struggling, they, they said when we go for the money, we'll be okay. But we are still not okay. So what is happening? A friend just told me that the country is like animal farm. Mm. And, I, and I'm, 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 I'm willing to believe that, yes. It's like we are in an animal farm. Where uh, anything, even when you go mm. to the animal kingdom, there, there are rules and regulations. There are some places where 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 you, everything is order. Even the animals, everything is order. Why does our leaders are making us suffer like that? Mm. It is true we are, we, are, we are living in animal farms now. Everything is just bizarre. Mm. Anyhow, no direction. Hey, you don't hear me. You are talking about uh, free education. Where That's you right. went for the money from? Are they doing free education? Mm. You want to you want to borrow money from someone who who, who, who is eating banku? You came with the money. You you are going to spend the money on fried rice, master. I want you to wake up. Thank you so much, Ellis, for your call. Ellis says, uh, focus on the banku. I've got Parkwesi from a strongman also on the line. Parkwesi. Pakojo on the line from Ashraman. Pakojo, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Hello. Good morning, Helen. Good, good morning. morning, William. Good morning, good morning, William. Good morning to you good as morning. well. Good um, morning. So this morning, I, I just want to comment, William, on his submissions regarding the witchcraft um, thing that we're talking about. Mm. And I guess that you need a deep mind to understand where William was actually coming from. That where poverty thrives, where ignorance thrives, you will not understand these issues. If you live in a society where there's work for you to do, you wouldn't spend your time finding out who is a witch and who is not a witch. I don't know whether I'm making sense. And if the people have point. workplaces to go and work for their daily bread, nobody will have the time to go and look for who a witch is and who, 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 who is not a witch. But that's just exactly the point. I think that we've gotten to the point where we have to be um, upfront with the truth. We are a nation of cowards. And I'm using this word advisedly. Mm -hmm. Why? In other jurisdictions, someone like our vice president would have resigned would have, without even being told. Resigned, you say? <laughs> Sorry? Yes, resigned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do I say so? I don't know whether you call it a lie or an untruth. That when. He said that we will never go to the IMF. Finance minister said the same thing. That's the right. entire MPP people said the same thing. Mm. Are we at IMF? We are certainly there. Why are we Ghanaians not holding them to the fire? We're all in this country when the vice president called the late Minister names. Why is he running away from the same yardstick he used to measure somebody? I think that we need to be very brutally frank with our leaders. And I have said that even if, my, even if my father comes to run for presidency and I vote for him, I will still hold him to account because I pay my taxes. Ellen, I, I work at Tema. Mm. Come and look at the deplorable state in which the motorway is in. That's right. Speak. Yes, we pay taxes. God forbid, when an important person, I'm using the word important in quotes, when an important person gets get an accident and dies, we'll find money to fix the problem. 
Mm. We've had people picketing for their money. That's right. Money they've worked for for two years. We don't have it. Yet we have money to fund a by election. And we're not talking about it. Our leaders are quiet. Civil society is quiet. Because when you talk, you be gagged. Mm. What kind of country is this? And when people are leaving for the other states, you encourage us to stay in this country. Go to our universities. Let me make this last point, Ellen. Sure, wrap up Go for me, please. I'm sorry. Go to our universities. Assemble any 10 or 20 professors. You have about 80% of them having either their first or second or professional degrees outside this country. What does that tell you? Mm. What does that tell you? We don't believe in our own because we've messed it up. I went through the O-level and looked at the kind of education we had and compare that to what we have now. Good morning. Good morning, Paco Joe. I also have Samuel from Darkman on the line. Samuel, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning. Uh, please, uh, the leaders of Ghana right now want the youth to react. And we react. It's very, very bad. Mm. How can they do all this? Uh, we, the youth, inside the country, they suffer like this. Then we have someone coming out to see that the youth of Ghana, they had like a uh, coconut. And those people who have the good head and do things good, they're not fixing the things. And we, those who are ahead are coconut. I rather I've been trying to see this. Please tell them it's the time for the youth to rise and we rise and we fight them. We'll be like Congo and Rwanda. We'll fight. We'll oh, no, we if, can't. If, if, we, if no. we, we, live yeah. it, we live in a de democracy, Samuel. When you talk about fighting, that is something that we will not encourage, sorry. something we yeah, cannot sorry, tolerate. Sorry. It is one nation, one dream, one goal, without fracas, without violence. But Samuel, thank you so much for joining the program this morning. I also have Raymond from Kwabenya on the line. Raymond, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Welcome to 3FM Sunrise. Um. Okay, and you... I'm fine, are you? I'm doing very well, Raymond. You're on air. Oh, uh, okay. I just want to ask a question. Sure. Um, I just want to know if uh, Nanado and his so-called vice president and then uh, uh, Kino Foriata, the minister of finance, are smoking. I don't know. Uh, Raymond, I'm going to have to truncate this conversation at this point. Let's make our points in a fashion that is respectful so that we can progress. Uh, Raymond, I cannot answer that question and I cannot allow that question to go on air either. But you two can weigh in on the conversation. 055 924 2717. You can also reach us on 056910 all right, I've got a line caller. Oh, we've lost that call. Apologies. You can still reach us again. 055-6910-154. Phone lines are blinking. Call us. 055 As we make our submissions short, sweet, and snappy, let's also remember to keep the language respectful. We We also have Nana Grant from Vancouver on the line. Um, I hope this is Vancouver, outside Vancouver. Maybe we have a Van you know, do we have Vancouver Osu, Vancouver Lashibi? Is this a Vancou <laughs> Vancouver Kaswa? <laughs> Hello, good morning. No, uh, it's uh, Vancouver in um, Canada. All right. <laughs> greetings, greetings. Yeah. All right, you're on air. Um, sorry? I said you're on air. Give us your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, it's very early. Um, I listen to your show um, every dawn. So it's very insightful. Thank um, you. I start my morning with Johnny's Bike, you know, mm -hmm. where I learn a lot. And um, kudos to him. Sure. Now, with the issue ongoing right now in Ghana, it's very, very devastating. It's it's not, we are not in a good situation. Of course, we are in a very quick, um, period situation. I would like to touch on a couple of things. Go First for it. First of all, um, we have an economy which is, um, 
dying. Ghana is virtually dying at the moment because nothing is working. Um, what are we supposed to do as a country? We are supposed to look at production. What can we produce? Um, what can we do to salvage this situation? What are some of the things that we can do to, I mean, um, um, lessen the burden on our um, um, fellow Ghanaians? Okay, that's one. And two, you see, they told us that they will move us from um, taxation to production. Okay, um, we had Alan Cash who came to tell us that um, um, the sugar factory is 98% complete. The only thing left is to plant the sugar cane. How did that go? Mm. So you see, the government we are having at the moment right now is inept. They are woke. The mm. woke ineptness is, I mean, it's beyond imagination. Mm. Now, to my last point. Sure. We were, we were in Ghana where people start went to beat up a jet. Okay, packed. They went to beat up a jet. They put the judge's life and that of his family under serious threat. We had um, uh, an, at an uh, attorney um, general that filed for no prosecutor. We, in, the, in, the, in, in the case of Aisha Huang, who is destroying our water um, body, mm. he filed for no prosecutor. That's right. It's, it's, Jetty Kwesin, not a Ghanaian, or is it because he is an NDC? We are ruling a country, not serving the interest of a party. So the government should sit up, um, wake up from its wokeness, because it's so woke, and try to learn better and do best for fellow Ghanaians. Thank you. Thank you so much for that call all the way from Vancouver. And it's not Vancouver, Lashibi, as uh, some of you might know. This is Vancouver, Vancouver. Thank you for your call. We'll uh, slip in one or two last, last callers. If you want to speak with us, share your thoughts, add your voice to the conversation conversation this is the chance to do so before we wrap up on the voice of the people phone lines are still blinking get involved in the conversation 055 924 2717 or call us on 055 1054 let's talk about the themes that we have discussed this morning a number of issues are sin north food suppliers the apology by the deputy minister for our comments weighing on that uh, we have Kofi on the line uh, speaking to us all the way from. Hello, good morning, Kofi. Where are you speaking to us from? Hello, my name is Kofi Akwesi. I'm calling from Dallas, Texas, in the U.S. Thank you very much for your work, your hard work. So to say, lady, please, Ghana. You see, many people sometimes they want to bury our history, and everybody in the Kwa let Ghana do the business. But what problem to the Kwa Mkuma? If you read Jibo Commission report, that came out in 1956. We get independent in 1957. But then, Kwame and his attorney general introduced what comes to the court, PD, preventing the case in us. By 1960, over 500 Ghanaians were in prison without trust. By 1960, Kwame to one party state. How do you government need to one party state? Press freedom was abolished. Uh, our judicial system was controlled by Kwame Nkrumah. Nobody can say anything. His own ministers were leaving the country. This Kankai Nyami issue, it was a Kumi, who was Kwame Nkrumah minister, who told the Nyanyans about Kankai Nyami. Kofi Baku was his defense minister. Why was he happy when Kwame Nkrumah was deposed? You see, Ghana, the way we do our politics, if we bring Idi Amin to Ghana today, he will get votes. This uh, minority, what they are doing, is vigilantism. Look, if somebody commits a crime, let the law take its own course. Mm. This desecration has been tied for uh, forgery. After, after force, what they call him. Look at this ambulance issue. Mm. 
and you have audacity. You see, the nation, the law, you see, there's no question for wrongdoing. Look at our banking crisis. How many money has gone today? People sit down on the trees. You just over 3,000 schools the last time I checked. I go to school on the trees. No good water to drink. You look at what the parliamentarians are doing. Over 65% Ghanaians have no decent water. Is it a nation be proud of? You see, so sometimes if you hear some of these educated ones talking anyhow, you wonder what kind of parliamentarian people have been accused of double salary. And they're still working free. When it comes to taking loan for parliamentarians to buy cars, both of these young people are happy. This is, what is their way of gathering economic predicament? Hmm. You see, so sometimes it's so sad. It's so sad. The nation blesses all these natural resources. This uh, domain, right. do you know ethics of its responsibility as a jail? Domain people praising him. Do you know something they call ethics as a professional and uh, what they call as a jail? I mean, there are certain things to achieve. You have to stay away from such partisan politics. You don't do that, man. For Christ's sake. So you think yeah, he, he, he uh, but, a loving, I beg, I beg I mean, Kofi, but he also doubles as a, leaders, as a judge. You think he has no place in weighing in on these issues because no, of no, no, his no. title? No, no, no. A judge, if they call something ethics, and you are a judge, you don't involve yourself in such, you know, you have a public discourse. Law mm. is uh, it's not public opinion. It's a criminal offense. The man has been charged mm. of criminal offense. Mm. So what you are a judge, it should be judge. Not the what they call a retired dead. You don't do that. Please. So, but um, mm. for Ghana, our leaders, if you compare our leadership to Senator Kama of Botswana, you compare our leadership to uh, what they call it, uh, Magifuli of Tanzania, you can conclude our people are disappointed greatly. Money leak, look at the general report year after year. Nobody seems to care. Nobody, no is the MPP. Nobody cares. They share the money, they loot the money, all of them come crazy, loot and share. You see the perfect politician in Ghana today you can be proud of? Do you see one? Hmm. This is the pen. Do you see every politician can be proud of? In the leader. Can be proud of. Well, it came killing people left and right. When leaving office, you took 10 vehicles, four bungalows. Who do, who do this? Who does this? And the people are taking places for him. Killing people for taking loans. My sister, well, yeah. I mean, uh, hmm. sometimes uh, our history is starting to work over there. It's so pathetic, sorrowful indeed. Hmm. Sorrowful. Uh, uh, and so sad. Right. Well, Kofi, our you're, leaders uh, are not happy. You're, you're our last caller. Come of- back. I was going to say, you're our last caller of the morning. You say you're calling us all the way from Dallas, Texas. Just out of curiosity, how do you typically yeah, yeah. I, I, listen I, I, to I, I, us? I, I, I'm trying to call you about many, many times. Your life is very, very busy. Thank wow. you very much for well, taking my call. In, God bless you. What, what, what time is it in Dallas, Texas? Oh, now it's getting to 5 o'clock in the morning. Wow. I believe. It's about very early. In the morning. And how do you typically listen to us in the mornings? Yes, yes, I listen to you and your journey. Uh, normally, I listen to both of you. Thank sure. you very much for your work. Right. And yeah, you listen I to us that. on the on yeah, the app or me. on the or on the website. Just oh, curious. On the app. On, on the, the app. app. On the app. Yeah, all right, Kofi. Yeah, uh, yeah, greetings yeah. to um, all and sundry in Dallas, Texas, and thank you so much for joining in yeah, on the conversation. Thank you very much, brother. Our leaders, they are not happiness. Please mm. look at this galaxy. Look at our forest. Look at I've been so sad. My sister, it's so sad. But there's no question for one thing. So therefore, they come and do whatever pleases them in no law hold them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kofi. All the way from Dallas, Texas. He says he listens to us on the app. If you haven't gotten the app just yet downloaded, you can listen to us on the go and so that you never miss a moment. We'll park it here for the Voice of the People segment. Thank you to everybody who gave us a call this morning. Clifford, Ko, Sami, Opien, Ele Samuel from Dakuman, uh, Raymond from Kwabenya, Pakwesi, Ali, everybody who shared their views, their thoughts, and their concerns. As always, it's greatly appreciated. And I nearly forgot to wish Ikea Mansa a happy birthday. Uh, Ikea Mansa is my mother, by the way. Ikea Mansa, if you're listening this morning, have an incredible day. Happy birthday to you.
We love you so much. May you live to be 92.7 and beyond. Today, the callers are giving you fans. They said, thank you so much for giving birth to Brophylactic. So I also want to say a very big thank you for all of the wonderful things that you do in my life, for all Happy of their support. All of us. Happy um, birthday from the entire team. They said they'll be bringing you a cake. Uh -huh. That's what they said. So I'll take it home with me. <laughs> we can enjoy it. Happy birthday again to you, Equia Mansa the Greats. Free FM Sunrise. And speaking about mums, we're expecting all of you incredible mothers and fathers, guardians, parents to be at the baby fair. We've been talking about it at length and for good reason. It's your one-stop shop for all of your child care needs. We're talking about the clothing, the food, um, the educational material, all of that stuff. Yesterday you heard from some of our vendors. There's going to be incredible discounts as well. So come one, come all. It's also going to be a fun family day with the photo booths. We're also going to have a kids arena for the kids to enjoy and share. Uh, somebody have a seat. In fact, we're calling all our expectant moms, dads, all of them. You are a father in waiting or in training. William has had years in, in of waiting. experience in waiting. In waiting. We don't have time. We would have <laughs> let William show us how to correctly put on a diaper. If you're wondering why we have extra guests in the studio, these are... I, I walked in, I'm like, wait, what are these? Yeah, these are why, why do we have, babies. Why do we this have one these? is Equia Mansa, and this one is uh, Fosti. Hi, Fosti. Yeah, this one is called Fosti. This Auntie one Fosti. is called Equia Mansa. Uh, Samani, yes, uh, when are you Fosti. looking to expand your, your family and, you know, really... Debbie, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie. I'm out of love you. For us. For Fosti. you. <laughs> My Fosti. William, I do want to ask you, what would you say is the most exciting thing about being a, a father? What really makes you think, wow, this is, well, this I is fun? The first time I had my, I mean, the first time I had a baby, mm. sitting in the corridor of the clinic and waiting. Then, then the nurse comes and says, uh, Mr. Sidhu, I said, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you and were I, so excited. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it, the feeling is incredible. You go there, you see a human being that. It's yours. You made, yes. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? So you, I mean, if you cast you, your mind back, you can you even can't remember explain, the day you, they were you, made you know, and you, how you, they were made. Just, yeah, yeah, you how they you, came yeah, to fruition. You, you can't explain it. It's, 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 it's nice. I mean, mm. very, very, I mean, it's something that, I mean, that feeling you can't explain. You can't explain. And it's just, it just goes to the fact that God says we should come to the earth and multiply. And multiply. And then I understand. I'm listening. I'm taking cues. You have, you have the privilege to be part of those who are, who are multiplying. Mm. And we and, and appreciate your contribution. Yes. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much for <laughs> providing the necessary mechanism to, to multiply. To multiply. <laughs> we'll park it here today for 3FM Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. Of course, the news at 10 is coming up very shortly. Uh, thank you to everybody who tuned in this morning all the way from 5.55 up until now. Of course, tomorrow we return. Same time, same place. My name is Helen Apia Ampof. On behalf of the rest of the team, do have an exquisite wedding. Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow. 3 FM Sunrise.